So Yeah Minnesota started out as a, a kind of a collaborative network of high school environmental clubs um, that kind of wanted to get together and meet and just brainstorm ideas so and basically what it's turned into really, is we realized really that as high school youth we have the power to unite and instead of having all our small organizations we can come so together to as students representative of all of Minnesota high right. schools uh, do real action college, and make change happen. The Will Steger Foundation is, is one of the key sponsors for the Yam yeah, Minnesota Young Environmental Activist Group that's recently formed here in the Twin Cities and uh, it's been a real honor for us to work with some incredibly inspiring young people who are working really hard in their communities to uh, network with their peers and to make real and lasting change, not only in their school community, but also in their wider towns and their wider cities to get their school boards on board with recycling projects um, and all kinds of other initiatives to get their local politicians paying attention to the youth voice. Um, it's been really exciting for us to see this group really flourish to expand from 12 members uh, just three months ago to now over 100 young people that came here for this event tonight. So um, it's really exciting. And you know, these movements are a lot of fun. They're social, you get together, you got a purpose, you make movements, it's positive. You're doing things, you're making changes, you're moving the adults. So keep doing what you're doing here. Uh, get connecting, get organized, uh, take action. You have to take action. on. Well, Will Steger, more so than uh, any politician, or anyone else that I've heard talk, he has an eyewit the eyewitness account. He, can, he sees global warming from where it's really happening, how it's really affecting people's lives. And I think our generation really needs to see that side of it. The next committee is the energy bill media, uh, committee with Quinton. There's a bunch of various energy bills that are being considered in the Minnesota legislation. And we're going to try to use our resources as high schools to get them passed. Uh, the issue here is energy. It's not just global warming. We have an energy crisis that everybody knows about. We rely on 70% of our petroleum from foreign countries. It's 100 bucks a uh, barrel right now. I mean, this is incredible. We don't feel that shock of that. Our, our gas prices are going up. But in 07 was, to me, I think the first time, a tipping point where the demand for, for energy outstrip the supply. We're actually getting things done. We're actually um, planning on um, forming projects and um, hopefully in the future passing legislation. And I know everyone keeps on saying this and it sounds so cliche, but it really is about taking action and that's what we're all about. It's always good uh, to, to, like you're talking about, to pick an issue or a, a bill or something, educate yourself around that and then organize around that. When I came down here three years ago, I, uh, I, you know, I had friends down here, but I wasn't really connected with the, with the system so much. And there was, at that time, it was called the Renewable Electricity Standards, which would put us at 20% renewables by 2020, and we were, they were losing the vote on it, and, and, uh, and it was a, you know, we had a lot of oppositions on it, but, but for myself, it was a good, a kind of a good rallying point, and, and the goal there was to get this bill passed to get wind turbine manufacturing in, and, and you know, economically I saw it long range, but I organized around that one particular bill, which really, really helped me focus a lot, and then through that I made connections to many people. Uh, we kind of realized that, look, there are all these kids that are just like us that ha are passionate about these issues, and we really do have the power to come together. Policymakers are coming along, but we got to hold their hold their feet to the fire, and you've got to vote. If, if you start voting, people won't listen to you if you don't vote. If you start voting, basically, the politicians will come to you because you've got the power. If you want to change something here, you need power. If you want power, you need organization. It's that simple. Once you organize, you've got the power, you can change. Uh, global warming and the climate crisis and everything that's going on in the environment is really going to be the defining issue of our generation.